वेलकम नाजरीन मैं हूँ आमिर फिरजादा आपके स्टोर फ्रंट शो के साथ नाजरीन आई विली इन्जॉय पर्सनली टॉकिंग विद जस्टिन आई होप यू ऑल्सो इन्जॉय वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव टॉक अबाउट गेटिंग एन आइडिया क्रिएटिंग एन आइडिया स्टेब्लिशिंग इट एंड एक्सपेंडिंग इट स्लोली टू मेक इट ए सॉलिड ब्रांड नाजिन वी टॉक्स अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट हाउ लॉन्ग डिज इट टेक टू डू द मार्केटिंग और कितना मजीद टाइम लिया उसको टेस्ट आउट करने के लिए और आप इससे अंदाज़ा लगा सकते हैं कि यू हैव टू हैव द पैशन फॉर योर प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज इवन इफ यू लाइक टू गो टू अ बिगर मार्केट दे ऑल्सो वन सी हाउ लॉन्ग कैन यू सप्लाई एस यू नो बिकॉज यू माई हैव अयर एंड देन यू बिल्ड द कस्टमरशिप एंड देन यू माई लूज द इंटरेस्ट एंड आई डो नॉट सप्लाई बहुत सारी फूड एजेंसी फिर इज अ फूड प्रोडक्ट ऑफकोर्स इज यू एस डी ए but if it is uh, whatever the product is you have to go to the related uh, uh, institution or regulatory uh, institution i would say organization government agency uh, to get the licensing for so these are the small steps uh, which should not discourage anyone i would say uh, to not to launch the product because because of the online sales hopefully we'll uh, just talk about this because of the online sales uh, you have an opportunity uh, you would agree to test the market initially you mentioned mm-hmm. so if there are certain products where you do not have to carry a lot of uh, inventory mm-hmm. or block you a lot of money mm-hmm. uh, online sales marketing would be one way uh, to check if it is a food item yes i would say go for it personally meet with people personally meet with owners store owners who can sell your product so uh, so just in uh, it was very interesting very uh, mind stimulating i would say because that was first time uh, i always wanted to know you know how one creates a product you know you have an idea how how does it go to the next level uh, so i'm really glad, glad that you mentioned and share with our viewers so uh, so how was your success uh, on selling uh, online and when did you decide to sell online while you were dealing with all the customers uh, on the ground i would say So what I would just say it, if you were starting from a certain place of you're ready to scale it you you have it in your hand and you can sell it to someone uh-huh. I would start by saying that online is a very good way to start okay um depending on what it is now if it's got a shelf life of 2 weeks you need to consider that uh-huh. but on the online sales are great because you're not wading into the waters of retail right. you're able to control it more Yeah. And you can speak directly to your customers. Um and then if you're selling uh on Amazon, of course, you have an extremely large audience that is already exists. Yeah. So if you think about, do you want to sell on a website? Yes. You you have to drive people to the website. They have to trust it. They have to get to know how to use it. They have to understand how you what your platform is. If you're selling it on Amazon, that already exists. Right. it's extremely trusted the audience is built in so i would say amazon would be a great place to start if you wanted to wade into online sales mm-hmm. now that being said amazon can be very uh logistically challenging cuz it is technically complex in some ways there's a lot of rules and regulations your customer service on amazon has to be superb yes. in order to keep selling and just like a storefront If you had a physical store, do you have good lighting? Do you have flowers? Yeah. Is it clean? Are you welcoming people into it? Right. Are you are you providing them with value with your pictures, right. with your words? It's the same thing on Amazon. It you want to think of it just like a physical storefront and what message you're sending right. to a customer. So, where did you see uh, or I would say how actively you are looking into sales or what do you do for marketing? So for for marketing for us online has not been a big of piece for us right but now. it but it is we're we're getting into it now. Uh-huh. Um for marketing on either your website or Amazon you're going to need to invest dollars into ads. Right. That can be digital ads on Amazon that let people know you exist. Right. You can do sponsored posts. Same thing for Facebook, same thing for Google. Right. Um but that again that's difficult because you 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 have no reputation in the market right you're you, no one knows who you are and no one necessarily trusts you right 
So what you will need to do is to get your product, A, it has to look beautiful and your storefront has to be all right. set. You need to build credibility. Uh -huh. You build credibility by, by, by people will talk about it and hopefully they'll review it positively. Uh -huh. So that's how you build credibility, reviews. You want right. people to review it. Um, Amazon will then trust you more. They will reward you for having a presence and having some activity uh -huh. on, your, on your storefront. Um, that, that's what I would say would be a, a good starting point to try to generate some sales on Amazon. So currently uh, in your company, um, correct me if I you know, am wrong, but usually a company you have uh, salespeople maybe who go into certain areas, introduce your product, or do you have any other way? Just, you mean for phys physical sales? Physical sales, yes. Well, if you're starting a brand, and you, let's say you, you, if you have a sales team, that's amazing. Right. If you're starting it, your sales team has to be you. Yeah. There's no better person to represent your product than you, because right. you know it better than, than anyone else. And it's not just me. I, I, have, a, I have partners. Right. Some of these partners are spread, around, spread throughout Texas. Uh -huh. Some are in Mexico. Um, some are in Wisconsin. Right. But um, uh, hopefully, your best salesperson is, is the person who started the company. Right. That's right. I mean, yeah. again, it comes back to the, the passion, because if you are not interested in your product, salesperson, doesn't matter how good he is, or she is, it's not gonna sell the product. Right. Uh, what other opportunities uh, you may have uh, as to, uh, because in the past we have seen, you know, people have the stores and then they have wholesalers uh, mm -hmm. who can market your product. Mm -hmm. uh, so have you looked into uh, wholesaling it uh, to the uh, direct wholesalers yep. or suppliers? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so here in Houston, we have warehouses that carry it in Houston. Okay. Um, obviously, you need to distribute your product. Yeah. Um, you, so you want to network and communicate and form relationships with distributors, uh, some large, some small. Again, if you are going to work with a wholesaler or a distributor, uh -huh. it doesn't matter it, how small or large, you need to have a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. You need to communicate with them. Um, they're looking for that same investment as anyone else. So there's a lot of danger in um, you get picked up by a distributor, that's great. Uh -huh. Now what? It may just sit in a warehouse quietly right. because no one knows it exists. Yeah. So again, if, if you have marketing. A, marketing. Marketing, marketing. Marketing. For a storefront, you need what? Location, 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 right? Yeah. So to introduce a product, of course, is uh, marketing, marketing. Um, and if I could, that's where it goes back to the other strategy is because marketing is very difficult, time consuming, it's resource consuming. Right. If you can focus on one or two or three or four locations, uh -huh. then you're able to really build those relationships. And if a distributor is coming in and, and you can say, we're doing really well in these four stores. Uh -huh. They'll say, "Great, like we'll pick it up." You're, you've already done the work for them. Uh -huh. uh, strategy, strategy-wise, I just uh, had a question. A food item, especially when you said that you had a ear uh, expiration uh, in it. So, who decides that, by the way, the time limit? So that can be decided by the food scientists, okay, and regulated by the USDA and the manufacturer. So they will tell you after certain this, this can go bad or whatever. Yeah. Or so how do you plan your sales or, or manufacturing? Uh, does it depend on the sales? How, um, how do you decide how much you should have it in stock or how long does it take to put it into uh, packaging? So it depends on what kind of rhythm you're in mm -hmm. with the manufacturer. Uh -huh. So if you're new, it will always take longer to and there will be more challenges. Create a product. To, to get a rhythm. I mean, okay. there's no rhythm for them and you're not a priority. You have to remember, they probably have existing customers and relationships. Right. You are not a priority to them. Uh -huh. But because you're building that relationship, they always want to create new relationships and business, of course. Uh -huh. um, so you, you, you have to try to establish a regular rhythm. That's difficult to do, of course. Uh -huh. So you're basing it on potential forecasts. Um, you're basing it on future relationships. Uh -huh. um, to some degree, you're kind of placing bets. Um, but you need, I would say you need to be conservative. Mm -hmm because you're untested. Okay. So you, you don't want to build up a ton of uh, inventory 
especially if it has a shelf life. Yeah. All retailers are going to want max freshness. Shelf life. Yeah. Shelf life. Yeah. They don't want something that is six months old. Right. They want an entire life cycle to it. So what other opportunity um, would you like to share with our uh, audience? Um, you mentioned um, uh, being a salesperson or they can uh, take your product. Mm -hmm. Would it be discounted if somebody wants to resell your product? Uh, that depends. Um, on the volume maybe they are doing? It depends on it's a, certain, certain circumstances. It's difficult to just answer that because uh -huh. um, this is just to have an idea because I would like to share with audience uh, viewers uh, what is crowdfunding. Um, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. Crowdfunding. It was the uh, drop shipping. Sure, sure. Drop shipping. Now, I drop shipping is a concept uh, which started, I would say, got common a few years back, uh, in which you can sell product online. You don't have to carry it. Uh, you don't inventory. Uh, you just get connected. Up, uh, uh, vendors hai ya jo wholesalers hain. Up online ke upar uska order sell karte hain, or you send it to the uh, uh, vendor or the uh, wholesaler, and then they will ship that product uh, to the customer. So that's uh, another beautiful concept. People have done so much online where they don't have to carry a lot of products, uh, but they go ahead and market it and get a good pricing. So, you have an opportunity. Hai. Uh, so, feel, uh, Justin, uh, please feel free and tell our, uh, our audience if somebody needs to get connected with you uh, for this opportunity, for pricing, for branding, for anything who wants to go ahead and, and help you out, take it to the next level while they're starting themselves. Uh, so, please, would you share with our uh, audience uh, your uh, contact info? Sure, sure. So, yeah. I, I would be happy to answer any questions uh, related to our discussion. Or uh, the product our, itself. Uh, the product itself and our brand. Um, the easiest way to get in touch with our company is our website, which is lnortenofoods.com. I don't know if we can spell that out or we can show an image, but uh, um, yeah, that's the that's the, the most reliable way to get in touch with us is the website. Oh, would you like to share your email? Sure. I mean, the easiest way to reach me would be info i n f o at lnortenofoods.com. Um, and then I'll be checking the email, and I'll get any emails that come in there. All right, excellent. So Nazreen, uh, storefront arch TV at Gmail. You can email us email if you want to get connected with uh, Justin uh, or the company, or if you have any question regarding any other industry or any other product, hopefully we can bring the expert or the people who are in to give you the uh, right information and authentic information uh, to help you get into business yourself. Or, um, or yeah, if you are in the existing uh, business mein hai, and uh, you want uh, some help with that, some um, innovation related, uh, there are a lot of companies you know, who call us time to time. And hopefully, in the next uh, few programs, we'll be introducing uh, the benefits of getting connected, not just personally, but through online. Mm -hmm. uh, online is the best way. Mm -hmm. Internet you know, uh, has a... Has uh, uh, has done miracles uh, for people. You know they uh, they don't have to do anything. They don't have to drive any uh, anywhere. You just order from your uh, phone, and then you do it. So that's amazing. That's excellent. So uh, anything else uh, you want to share uh, based on with with our viewers or um, any suggestion for some people who has passion to do something? Any message to them? I would say that that having passion is is it's the key. A, one of the one of the key absolute foundational keys. Right. And and then again, I'll reiterate: if you want to create a food, it better taste good. Yeah. Um, so that would I would say those are two very right. important things. And then I would say overall focus, just in all your efforts, focus and persistence. Of course, you know, of getting course. feedback and of course make changes and adapt new things. Of course. And then another piece, a, a very key piece of advice I would also give anybody who's interested in getting in, in food business or any business really is to join trade organizations uh -huh. and be active within those organizations. Yep. You show people, up. People help each other. And uh, yep. so uh, very good. Well, Justin, I first of all uh, cannot thank you enough because I know that you uh, drove uh, quite a bit. Uh, just to be on the show and uh, sh uh, shared with our uh, viewers the valuable information. 
And it was personally also exciting for me to know from something from a ground up. And uh, we wish you uh, success uh, with your brand. And um, hopefully uh, you'll make it great. Well, thank you, Amir. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Appreciate it. Yep. Uh, so Nazreen, uh, hum, uh, is program ka ekhtataam is tarah karte hain ki agar aapko mazid information chahiye either this brand or any other product which you want to be a part of, uh, hume email ki jiye storefront ashtv at gmail pe aur agar aapne uh, koi aasi uh, suggestion hai, to feel free to uh, uh, call us. Agle program ke andar hum aapke saath dubara hazir honge ek naya exciting topic uh, business lekar. Uh, hum ko ijazat dijiye. Hey.